Hello, this is a video on the ANSYS Borrow Utility. It allows you to borrow licenses to be used outside of the company facility. Uh, this is a function that you would need to request um, when licenses are issued to you. Uh, licenses typically don't come with this option, but all you need to do is request it. There's no additional cost. Certain licenses can't be borrowed at all, but uh, quite a few of the ANSYS licenses can. As an example here, I have ANSYS Mechanical Enterprise, and you can see by the wording here that it is borrowable. So how do you borrow a license? Uh, you would open the client ANSLIC admin utility and run the ANSYS borrow utility. It will bring up this win window. Uh, it can take a while to populate this window, uh, especially if you have multiple licenses. Uh, here, you would have to select the version a borrowed license uh, can't be used on any other version except for the one that you have selected here. So you'll need to decide on the version when you borrow it. You can also set the return date here. For business licenses, uh, you can borrow a license up to 30 continuous days. For university licenses, it's only up to seven continuous days. Uh, in the span of a year, you can only borrow up to 90 total days. Another limitation is if you have licenses that are currently borrowed, but you are also connected to the network with your license server, you will only be able to use licenses that you have borrowed. You will not be able to check out any licenses from your license server, so you won't be able to use both. Uh, you'll need to return your licenses that are borrowed and then check out licenses normally from the license server uh, if you wanted to use um, licenses that way, but you won't be able to do both. So let's borrow this license here. And then you would select the, the features that you want. I only have the one. And then you would click borrow. Uh, it will tell you that the feature was successfully borrowed. And uh, it will also tell you to disconnect the machine from the network to confirm that the borrowed licenses can be used. So in if you have a laptop or whatnot, you would just disconnect from Wi-Fi or Ethernet and open up uh, ANSYS Workbench and see if you can use the licenses. Now, how to return licenses early. Uh, if you want to return licenses before their expiration date, uh, you would then open up this utility again, make sure you're connected to the network with your license server, and you would um, return all the features that uh, you would want. So I return all, uh, and then it will give you a message that it was successfully returned. Now we generally request that you only borrow licenses when network connection is good. So if you're trying to do it over spotty Wi-Fi or if you're trying to do it over your VPN, that's generally not recommended because you can run into issues where your licenses will become stuck. So um, it, the license server will show that the license has been borrowed, but on the machine that is borrowing, it will uh, not show any licenses. It will show that the licenses weren't borrowed, and um, basically there's no way to return the license because basically it will show up that you have no borrowed licenses, uh, and the license server will show that you have borrowed licenses. There's no way to un stick these licenses. You essentially just have to wait it out until the expiration date before they're, they're released. And that's why we recommend not borrowing licenses over network connection that is poor. The same thing can happen if you're trying to return a borrowed license early uh, with poor network connection as well. You can try to return it, and if it doesn't return successfully, um, it will still show here that you don't have any more borrowed licenses, but your license ser server will show that the licenses are still borrowed. And again, you just have to uh, wait it out until the expiration date, in which case then the license will be released automatically by the license server and you'll be able to use it again. So license borrowing can be very useful, especially if you have an engineer that wants to be able to use those licenses uh, while disconnected from your network. And that's how you use the ANSYS Borrow Utility. Thank you.